Today I'm going to be taking you through my complete landmine lower body workout. This workout is great to build overall strength, to transform those legs, and we are going to be hitting your entire lower body, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings with all of my favorite exercises. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys all my favorite cues and instructions. So go grab that landmine and let's get to work. And if you guys don't know me, I'm Elizabeth with Elizabeth Ayler Fitness. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post there every single day and I just love sharing just everything fitness, training, nutrition there for you. And don't forget to subscribe. I got three new videos for you every single week and Monday is our live Q&A. So for today's workout, we are starting off with one of my favorite supersets with a landmine. We are going to do heel elevated one and a quarter rep box squats. And for this exercise, the reason that I elevate my heels is to take the drive out of the hamstrings and glutes and really put that focus on quad development here. I'm doing a full rep followed by a pulsing quarter rep at the bottom. And this is just a great way to change it up, stimulate muscle hypertrophy, because you're keeping constant tension in that muscle for a longer period of time. As you can see, I keep my chest up. I'm exhaling on the way up, driving through my heels, squeezing my quads. But everything I always focus on is slow and controlled reps. This is a superset, so after you perform around 10 to 12 reps here, we are gonna immediately go into the next exercise, which is going to be a kneeling up, down squat. And so you could start off body weight, guys, and then just the barbell, and then add weight as you get stronger. This one's brutal, but it will target your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. You wanna make sure to put a pad underneath your knees and don't slam down your knees. Control the load, keeping all of the tension in those hamstrings, glutes, heels, drive through our heels, and keep that core tight. After you finish all four sets there, we will be moving on to our next exercise, and we're not doing a superset this time. We are gonna be doing a landmine toe elevated split squat. Every leg workout, I always make sure to include at least one unilateral movement. This is because we wanna work on correcting limb imbalances in the body. This is gonna activate your core, your entire lower body, glutes, hamstrings, quads, but also hit all of your stabilizer muscles too. So really, really focus on slow and controlled reps, keeping all of the weight in those heels and glutes, exhaling on the way up, and you're gonna perform all of your reps on one leg, switch over to the other, and then take a full two minute break in between your sets to allow for a full recovery. And that's for the complete workout, guys. You want a good one to two minute break between everything, no 30 second breaks. I want complete recovery so that we're able to get back to the set and be just as strong as the first so we can build some lean muscle mass. Next super set, what we're gonna be doing, this is by far one of my favorites, to demolish your hamstrings and glutes. But I bought one of these steps on Amazon because my gym didn't have one. And I'm doing an elevated stiff leg deadlift to sumo squat. I have a slight external rotation at my toes, as you can see. So I'm able to take my hips out of it. I tend to have tight hips and really sink into those heels and glutes in my squats. I do have it elevated just because I wanna get a full range of motion, good stretch in the hamstrings. But at the same time, I do wanna say, with stiff leg deadlifts, you always wanna work in your range of motion. 
because I have very, I was a cheerleader, so I have a lot of mobility. So I can get a deep stretch with keeping my back flat, my chest up, but some of my clients, they have tighter hamstrings and you don't want to go so low where you start rounding at the back and you lose the tension in your hamstrings and glutes. So stretch and work on your hamstring mobility and work up to that. Immediately after you finish these, run, grab a med ball, something super low, and we are just doing a glute burnout with deep pulsing squats. You could do it without a weight. I like to add a weight for that extra challenge. We're going for over 10 reps, aim for 15 if we can, till we are on fire. You know it is not a good glute workout without a finisher. So what we're gonna be doing, I used a med ball. You can do these on the floor. The med ball is just that extra challenge because you have to keep the ball in as well as the stability factor. And we're just doing single leg glute bridges, holding at the top, keeping all of the tension in the glutes. Three sets, back to back, 15 reps, and just Burn it out, fam. I truly hope you enjoyed this workout. I'm gonna be putting below all of the supplements that I do post-workout. Post-workout recovery is key and I've been getting a lot of questions. If you guys would like me to do a full follow-up on you know, pre and post-workout nutrition, recipes, all of that, let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. I got two new videos every single week and then I go live every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our weekly Q&A on everything wellness, training, and nutrition. Love you.